Welcome to the final day highlights of the 2023 New Zealand Open at the Millbrook Resort here in Queenstown in the South, South Island of New Zealand. A strong contingent of Japanese players are here this week and Tomoya Ukamura was struggling at the sixth hole and even having difficulty taking his stance on this very steep terrain here. He would go on to uh, make bogey on that hole but he recovered quickly with a beautiful eagle here at the 10th hole to get himself back into contention. <laughs> Jay Wong Eom is one of the several Korean players here this week. This birdie putt at the 12th also moving him forward like so many others on day four. Ben Campbell, who finished runner-up in this event three or four years ago, uh, really excited the local crowds and the many fans he has here with his second to the 16th all but going into the hole. And now John Lyris, recently acquired as his Asian Tour player, his third shot at the 14th, setting up another birdie there for him. But it was Brendan Jones, the man from Canberra in Australia, one of the most successful players on the foreign tour, is second to the par 5, par, par five 14th, finding the green some 15 feet from the hole. He wouldn't make that, but the birdie took him further clear in the field. And now the shot of the week, really, the shot of the day, certainly. This to the par 3, 15th, almost in the hole. And creating an almost unassailable lead for him. That would take him too clear. But uh, for Brendan Jones, a birdie at the 17th led to this part of the 18th. And he was declared the winner, winning his New Zealand Open for the very first time. So Brandon Jones, a great supporter of this event over the years, the winner of the 2023 New Zealand Open.